Hi friends, it's Miss McGuad back with another video for our fun science trivia games. So today's topic is going to be space. How this is going to work is today's game specifically is going to be a true or false game. That means I'm going to give you a sentence that is either going to be true or false. If you think what I'm saying is true, then you would say out loud or write down on your piece of paper, true. If you think what I'm saying is a lie, you think it's false, then you would write down false or you would say false out loud. Remember that you don't need a paper and pencil for this activity, but if you want to keep track of your score or you think it's easier to write down your answer, then you absolutely can. Once again, I'm going to continue our kind of friendly competition for these games. So if you want to know how to do that, then stick, or, stick around till the end of the video where I will explain it. And excuse me if I sometimes look off screen. I'm looking at my laptop where I have all of my notes, so don't worry about that. All right, so if you need to get a pencil and paper, then you can go ahead and pause the video now so you can go get that. All right let's get started so before i get started i just wanted to remind you guys or if this is your first time tuning into the video i'm going to ask a true or false question then depending on how hard the questions are i'm going to count down from five or ten on my fingers and by the time that i count down you should have already spoken or written down your answer However, if you need more time than five or 10 seconds, then you are totally free to pause the video in order to have more thinking or writing time. Got it? Cool. If you guys watch the seasons video, then I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that these questions are going to be a little bit more challenging. I think that these are questions that a lot of friends are not gonna know the answer to. That's why I made it a true or false, so you can kind of guess. There's a lot of these things I didn't know about until I did my research, but these are really, really cool facts that I wanted to share with you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First question is true or false? The galaxy we're in is called the Milky Way. So for those of you who don't know what a galaxy is, it's a huge collection of gas, dust, stars, and different solar systems. So Earth is in a solar system um, that involves the sun, Jupiter, other planets, and those are there are tons of other solar systems in a galaxy. So I'm going to repeat the question. The Milky Way galaxy, no, the galaxy we're in, the galaxy we're in is called the Milky Way. True or false? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. So if you said true, give your brain a kiss. The galaxy we're in is called the Milky Way. And if you guys only knew that as a candy before, then I'm sure you're pretty surprised. All right, next question. True or false? The Milky Way galaxy has 50 billion stars. What do you guys think? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. That one is false. So the Milky Way galaxy actually has 100 to 400 billion stars. But if you looked outside of the night sky, you definitely wouldn't be able to see all of that. Stars are really, really far away. So you can only see the brightest ones in the sky. So let's say the sky is really clear and you're away from a lot of light sources like street lights. When you look up in the sky, you would only see about 2,500 stars. That's a really small amount compared to the 100 to 4 billion in the entire galaxy. All right, nice job. If you got that right, give your brain a kiss. Next true or false question. We're going to get more specific about stars. True or false? Stars are usually 1 to 10 billion years old. Hmm. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. 
that one is true stars are really 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 old guys really old all right next question true or false stars are all the same color five four three two one zero so that one is actually false so you might have been thinking about when you saw the sky the night sky and you saw that all the stars are the same color so while it looks like that to us it's actually not the case they're all different colors so the hottest stars in the sky or in the galaxies are blue but they can also be white yellow orange red and brown that's crazy right okay next true or false question the sun is bigger and brighter than all the stars you see in the sky hmm let's see five four three two one zero all right are you guys ready for this one that is false so the stars that this one blew my mind you guys i found this out when i was doing this research and like i'm so excited to share this with you so the stars that you see in the sky are actually bigger and brighter than the sun which is oh my god my mind is blown right now and i bet you're wondering why that is or how that can even be because the sun is pretty big and the stars look really small but the reason for that is because stars are super 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 far away super far away so in order for them to be seen from all the way back there they need to be really big and really bright the sun is closer to us so it doesn't have to shine as brightly and it doesn't have to be as big for us to see it so even though it seems like stars are really small they're actually working really really hard and they're actually really really big in order for them to be seen by us so there you go I'm, I, that's crazy that's crazy to me okay next one okay this is our last question so let's see if you guys can get this right true or false some people believe that the position of the stars and the movement of the planets affect what happens in the world and how people behave. You guys think that's true or false? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so it's called astrology. So that one is true, friends. It's called astrology. And some people really do believe in it. Other people think that it's a load of baloney. Other people think it's baloney, but then it's still fun. So if you're bored and you're done with all your learning for the day and you want to look more into it, it's actually really, really interesting and it's called astrology. All right, friends. So that is it for today. I really love talking about space and stars and learning all these cool facts. So I hope that you guys learned something too. So here's how you guys can participate in my competition. So if you wrote down your answers, I want you to count it all up and see how many points you got. You have one point for every one that you got right. Down below, you can comment um, how many points you got and then a nickname. You can use your real name if you want. I just figured since we're having a little bit of fun with it, you can make up a nickname. If not, then I can use whatever YouTube username that you have. But if you want to participate in the competition, I thought it'd be kind of fun. You can comment down below and let me know. If not, you can also let me know what was your favorite fact that you learned because as you can probably tell, mine was that the sun is smaller and less bright than the stars in the sky. I'm going to be thinking about that one all night. All right, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. I miss you all so much. I hope that you guys are learning a lot at home. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.